Hello everybody, I'm Lingophiliax, and a Scottish Gaelic course just got released on Duolingo. I'm really excited for this. This is, um, I've been waiting for this to come out for a while now. So I'm half Scottish on my father's side, apparently, and I'm quarter Irish, quarter English on my mother's side. Now, I've been on Duolingo before quite a bit, and I've, I'm familiar with how it works. Whenever you start up a new course, you're given the option to start from scratch or take a placement test with, with the language. So you can either start learning as a beginner or if you have experience in the language, you can take a placement test to see so that Duolingo um, determines how much experience, how much knowledge of the language you have so that it can set you at a different level to everybody else. So I have had a lot of experience learning Irish on Duolingo, Irish Gaelic. Irish is one of the languages that I'm really into on Duolingo, and that's why I've been waiting for Scottish Gaelic to come out for a while. So I thought it would be interesting to see how much knowledge of Scottish I might have in comparison to Irish. So if I take the placement test for Scottish Gaelic, how much of the language would I actually be able to pick up because I know Irish? I don't know if how well this is going to go. We'll d we'll test it out. So um so let's let's go into the oh no don't click on the picture. Okay, so let's go into the actual lesson. Here it is, Scottish Gaelic course. So choose your path. Beginners start at intro. Advanced learners take a short test. Um, I don't know how advanced I would be, and I don't know how you determine that, but let's see how well I do. Take a test to jump ahead. Yeah. Takes about five minutes. Tea and coffee. Thank you, friend. Okay, so in Irish that would be, uh, tea agus café garaf maga tachara. So, uh, I'm going to think, so tea agus... Agus. They say, they say it out loud, sorry. Coffee. Coffee. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Uh, oh, I think the phrase in Irish, it's, uh, sorry, in Irish it's good of Margaret, so that's like, may goodness be on with you, may you have good things, uh, essentially, is what it literally translates to, and that means thank you, but I think with you, lat, uh, so maybe tapa lat? Tapa. Late. Tapa late. It's pronounced late in, 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 uh, Scottish. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be saying Scottish because I'm going to be saying the word Scottish, but I'm referring to Scottish Gaelic when just for simplicity's sake. I should mention that because there's a difference between Scottish Gaelic and Scots, which is a Germanic language. Um, but let's not get into that right now. Ah, uh, oh, courage. Courage. Okay. Yeah, it's got. It's got. It's also got palatalization. So let's see how well I did on this sentence. I got it correct. Nice! Tiago's coffee, tapa late, a harit. Hello, I am Callum. So, <laughs> already, one thing I can already see is that it has hello <laughs> as a word, and that's in capital letters, so I'm pretty sure that's the word for hello. Hello. Yep. I am Callum, that would be is Callum me in Irish, or is. or. is Misha. Callum. Or is Misha Callum? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yes, it was correct. That was not. That was great. I'm doing well after two questions. <laughs> doing well after two. Ha antifa. Ha anti. Wait, say that again. Ha antifa agit. Ha anti. Ha antifa agit. Okay. Ha antifa agit. So. I, so Scottish does, I'm guessing that's, that va means good, and that agat with a d on the end means at you. So ha vant, ha anti va agat, why do I keep saying vanti? Ha anti va agat, you have a good afternoon? Anti, you have a good anti, ha anti va agat. Oh, okay, so it could, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it could be a trick, but I'm not sure. I'll say auntie. That was correct. Never mind. I got that right. Um, so in in Irish, the word for auntie is also auntie. For aunt, for aunt is also auntie. So 
That's that's how they go. So I like yellow. In Irish, this would be ismalambui. So so in in Scottish, I don't see ma here. I don't see ma again. So maybe the word ma in Scottish is used differently than in Irish. That's that's another thing we learn today. Um, I do see lamb. So it's is something is. lamb. Oh, sorry. Is something lame. So I'm guessing garum. I'm going to be guessing the pronunciation. I'm learning that as I go. Garum would be blue. Pink maybe is pink. Uh, glass is probably green. Darig or derg. Maybe it's derg because of the because of the pat because the ea pattern. Derg is um red. Bui is probably yellow. Bui the bui the or buia buia. <laughs> we'll find out how it's pronounced, um, is probably yellow, so tull. That's how you'd say it in Irish. Tull? Tull. Maybe it's, Ew. is tullum? Booyah. Booyah, okay. Is tullum, is tullim? Loom. Loom. Oh, did I hear, did I hear it correctly last time? Maybe I didn't. It's Talum Buia. Yeah. That was correct, by the way. Hami Snog. I guess Hagalic Akam. Hami Snog. I guess Hagalic Akam. Oh, I thought that was a choice to use the um, choose word sort of thing, so maybe it wasn't. Hami Snog. I have no idea what Snog means. And I mean, in. <laughs> I mean, in. A, I, I mean, in Scottish, I have no idea what the word snock means. Hami snock. I guess hagalikakum. I am something, and I have um, Scottish, and I sp and I have Scottish. I'm just gonna say I am snog, and I speak Scottish, and, or and I have Scottish. Make sure you get the translation accurate. Okay, that's the annoying thing about Duolingo. If you if you say something that's kind of similar but not exactly right, you might you can get marked as wrong. Including definite articles. That is such... In, that is so infuriating. But, it's worth it. And I have, uh... Scottish... Okay. I am nice. Snock means nice. Apparently. Okay. Uh, I am nice and I have Gaelic. Well, I don't know if, um, Scottish would or wouldn't have been accepted because I got the, the thing wrong anyway, so... We'll, we'll see if Scottish would have been accepted as opposed to Gaelic. That is a cold fridge. Okay, that is Shin, uh, and that's got the capital Shin. letter, so that's probably the first word. Dead giveaway right there. Um, Shin, uh, fridge, forward? Fridge. Forward. Pretty sure forward means cold. Yeah, correct. Okay. Brilliant, I have Gaelic. Uh, dead giveaway here, capital Scunnel. letter. Oh, what is that? Scunnel. 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 So, Scunnel apparently means brilliant in uh, Scottish. Ha. Ha. Gaelic. Gaelic. Ha Gaelic Akam. 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 Scunnel. Ha Gaelic Akam. Scunnel. Ha Gaelic Akam. Oh no. Now I have to type in... Now I have to type in Scottish. I'm gonna get this wrong. Uh, where is she living in Japan? In Irish, that would be Kawoshi in a Kawoshi in a Satapon? Satapon, probably. Satapon, no, Satapon. Is it T eclipses? I have no idea. I'll have to look that up. Uh, Kabushi Nakoni, so tap on. Ah, oh, no, I'm using the wrong keyboard. So let me just check if I can type grave accents um, on an Icelandic keyboard. I don't think I can. I learn Icelandic as well, not on Duolingo, but but just because I'm obsessed with the language. <laughs> okay, um, I can type grave accents on a Sami keyboard. Yes, I'm using a Sami keyboard, believe it or not. I don't know any Sami. I'll explain in another video, but I use a Sami keyboard for typing Lakota, which I am, 
um, learning about for a, no, for a future video. So I can type grave accents with a Sami keyboard. Let's do it. Uh, ka, ka, el. I know another, th one thing I know about Scottish is that they don't have um, eclipses like Irish does, they only have a lenition, so maybe it's K-L? Kony. I'm making it, by the way, I'm making the spelling up as I go. I'm creating my own pseudo-Celtic language just based on my knowledge of these two languages. I know I'm gonna get this wrong, but it'll look beautiful either way. So, uh, question mark. I don't, th uh, punctuation on the other hand is one thing that Duolingo's a bit forgiving on, so that's nice, but still like to be proper. So let's see me fail miserably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it was completely wrong. So I'm guessing the pronunciation again. Kacha veil ia fiddle on an earpen. So in Irish, the word for Japan is chapon, I'm pretty sure. Um, but in Scottish, it's earpen. Ha i abrian garlic. Ha i abrian garlic. She is, I, I'm guessing she because E in the last sentence was also she. Um, she is speaking Gaelic? Ha she abrian. Ha e abrian Gaelic. Ha e abrian Gaelic. She is speaking Gaelic? Yep, correct. Hit the nail on the head right there. Ha e at a Ha iad a gooch ball. Iad is um, they, third person plural in, in Irish and I'm guessing Scottish. They are, now, I'm sw now I've swapped accents. They are, ball means cow. So, and, and, and I'm pretty sure that's, that's why cow's there. Ha iad a gooch ball. Stealing? A gooch? A gooch? Correct. So a gudge is to steal or stealing. Tashi the gudge bow, probably, in Irish. I have no idea what stealing is, but based on that etymology, the red blood. Um, oh, what's blood? Well, I know that the definite um. article is an an something darig, or yarig, or yerg. Yerak. Yerak. Interesting. So there's like a there's like a um, schwa put between the final R G. Oh, full. Oh yeah. All right. I I tried translating um, the phrase wolf blood. Do you know that series Wolf Blood? I tried translating um, the song to Wolf Blood into um, Scottish Gaelic at one point. Oh, in, sorry, into Irish at one point, and then it it was full mactida. So full. Oh, but there's two. There's full. And there's ul. I'm gonna guess... That was correct. If I had chosen the wrong one, I would have got that wrong. He is still wanting a cow. Ah, oh, so wanting... To say, to say I want something in Irish is to say, um, I want that book. Ta an lawr shin wem. Tan Laurishin Wem, so how do you say that? Oh, and is still, so a cow. Ta bo Ah, oh, I don't see any um apart from ag, I don't see any um prepositions. So maybe want isn't a prepositional phrase in in Scottish. So let's try and guess what these words mean. Skull. It sounds like school in Irish. Reish. Reish. I have no idea. Dio. Do. Ah, oh, I'm totally guessing. Maybe Agira. Agiri. Agirai. However you say that. Ta a. A. Bo agirai. Agiri. Reish. Reish. I am Reish. Let's let's have them say it. Ha. A. Bo. Ak. Iri. Sheesh. Sheesh. Is that voiceless? Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah, it sounds voiceless. Let's check if I got this right or if I completely screwed this up. Yeah, I got it wrong. Ahast, apparently, is um, still. But what I got the rest right, pretty much. 
Now accept bow is in the wrong position. So, ha e ag iri bo ahest. I count that as successful because I guess the phrase um, he is wanting, but I didn't guess the adverb, so I count that as successful. I don't have grey hair. Uh, ni oh, how do you say that? Ni ni lia erma kyan? Probably? Erma kyan? So, this looks like the first word. Han. 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 So, oh! I only know this because I've, I've listened to Celtic Woman. Ha can also be an archaic form, in Irish, an archaic form of not of the negative particle. <laughs> so, one of the lines in Dulaman is So, Khan is probably the negative particle. So let's see, um, I don't have grey hair. Uh, is there Agam? Oh no, there's Aram. Oh, on me. On me. So, there is no gr there isn't grey hair on me. Uh, Khan Leah Aram? Adam. Han el falt lia aram. What's el and falt? One of those is probably hair or head. Oh, han el. El is the, um, is to be, isn't it? There is not, um, grey hair on me, is literally what this would say. Ha an garuch snog galor. I just made up that. I'd probably butchered that. And Garuch Snog, the nice something. Garuch. Is it garden? That's just one of the options there, I'm just guessing that. The nice garden is enough. The garden is nice enough. Oh, okay. Ha and Garuch Snog Gulyod. So, Galod is talking about snuck, not the gara bit in the sentence. I need a fridge. Filma. Filmi? Femi. Femi. Me. Femi me. Uh, Femi me fridge? Fridge. Correct. Nice. I am nice and I have Gaelic. We already had this sentence except the other way round, didn't we? Ha. Me. Snock. Ayus. Ayus. So they pronounce it Ayus. Maybe there's different, differing dialects clashing here? It's, it's kind of what it sounds like. Ha. Gaelic. Gaelic. Akum. Akum. A red blood, so it's asking you to type this time. So I'll just I'll just um type what I wrote last time. Red blood. Oh, but did Linus did Linitian, was the Linitian caused by the definite article or it probably was. But does Derek remain as Yerek in this situation? Probably going to get this wrong, but I'll keep it as Derek. I got it right. Okay. Oh, no, you have a typo. Yeruk. So I got it wrong, but it marked me as right. Okay, I'm pretty sure that should actually be um, counted as wrong. Is she working in a church? I don't know the word for church. So I see Ubbard. Ubbard. Ubbard in, in uh, Gaelic. I know that Avil Gaelic Agat is, do you have Irish? Do, do you have... Scottish, because that's a line in Doctor Who, where the, they pick up Jamie, they go to Atlantis, um, and he and he asks, "Do you have Scottish Gaelic?" Avil Gaelic Agat. Avil Gaelic Agat. Avil e. E. Ak. Ak. Uber. Ak. Uber. Avil e. Ak. Uber. Aun. Aun. It is pronounced aun. Aun an. An. Uh, so it's one of these four words. Stade. Stade. Eeltuck. Eeltuck. Eglish. Eglish. Ooh. Woo. Woo. Ah, that's probably black, isn't it? Duff is black um, in Irish. Duff, and it's spelt that way, and it limits that way. Ooh. Ooh. 
That's a weird way. That's a weird pronunciation. I'll look that up online. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's one of these three then. I'm guessing... Steed. I'm guessing it's Steed. I'll use that. Wrong. Aglish. It's ag it's Aglish. So what does Steed mean? I have no idea. I have Gaelic too. Ha Gaelic agam. Akam. Kujacht. 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 So that's. I'm guessing that Kujacht means as well or too. Isht. Isht. Shiv. Shiv means um is a plural you. Let's check this one. Yep. Kujacht is Kujacht is um as well or too. I have to type what I've hit what I'm hearing. This is always annoying for Celtic languages because sometimes it's not spelled how it sounds because that that can change. Let me let me um turn this up a bit. I'm just writing gibberish here because I know I'm gonna get it wrong. I just want to see what it what it is. Yep. Oh, an iachalnivor. An iachalnivor. Do you like my desk? Antalat. Maybe desk? Um, but I don't see ma. Oh, an desk agam. The desk I have? I'm brilliant. No, I'm sorry. Uh, so, does Scottish have possessive pronouns then? Huh. I hear you, <sighs> it's another type how you sp what you hear. Fantastic. Wait. Hi, a ag eary bow hast. I know the. I think I know the first thing is um hi So I'm just getting the. I'm just guessing the last two words. I think it's bow, but I have no idea. It's probably wrong. Oh, it was the... Oh. Okay, it was a sentence we'd already done. He is still wanting a cow. Ha e giri bo ahest. Bo ahest. The FH in Celtic language, in, in Irish, always trips me up, because you never say it. You have to... well... I've gotten used, more used to it now, but being able to predict when it's not being said is difficult. Ha am fridge mode. The fridge is big. Maybe am um is a is a variant of un before um, bilabial or labial consonants. I know that happens in Welsh too, where the where variants of the word are different, have different endings. Like it happens on it happens on a preposition n, uh, where it becomes m um or ung. Um depending on the next consonant of the word. Apparently so! The white tooth on something yell. Yell. On something yell. Ah, oh, what, what's tooth? It's not eakul. It's not eakul. Or maybe it's, maybe it is eakul. But I've seen that before. I've seen that word before. I want to say eakul, but I feel like that's a red herring. I feel like that's a red herring. I'll do it anyway. Oh, apparently that was right. No idea. Okay, last question. How felt lia adam anish? Anish means now in in Irish, but it's spelt differently. So is that grey hair? I have grey hair now. That was, that was, yep, cool. Autumn, Anish. Congratulations, you tested out of 11 skills. Yay! <laughs> that means I must have skipped ahead something. I'm still going to go back over them, but it is nice to know that I've got a bit of knowledge about Scottish from my knowledge of Irish as well. Test complete, you unlocked 38% of the Scottish Gaelic course. Thank you. You learned the skill intro and ten others. So I've got level one out of five for like a few of them. Um, three, three, five, ten, eleven of them. 
and zero for two of them, so food two and colours, and then home, and then I'll be able to unlock level two, unlock, sorry, um, checkpoint two. But that's cool. It's it's interesting seeing the differences between um, between both Celtic languages that are very similar, but are obviously different languages and um, have different ways of expressing the world. Um, but similar phonetics, similar etymology, uh, similar sort of writing system as well. I don't know who created the writing system, or I don't know who standardizes the writing systems either, because most languages have um, a update their writing system to change to reflect the phonetics, the current phonetics, which is something that English does not do and desperately needs, which is another thing I'll talk about in another video. It is interesting to see the similarities and differences between two very closely related languages, but um, seeing that they are distinct and that they have their own ways of expressing things. Um, so that was my um, test. I, I don't know. I hope this was entertaining, but of course, don't forget to like this video if you want to see more like this. Um, subscribe to my channel if you, for more content such as this one. Share this video online with your friends if you have any. Or oh, share it with your real life friends if you also have any. Okay, that, that, that was depressing. Don't forget to check out the uh, Minority Language Report that should be coming soon. Or that should be out already, actually. I might edit this after I finish that one. So, if in that case, go watch it here, then, probably, in the icon. I know I'm doing that on the correct side, because I have gotten used because I knew I had to get used to the mirror thing. But anyway, yeah, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, do all that stuff. Thank you all for listening, and we'll speak again next time.